Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're reviewing this little gadget right here. It's the Universal Battery Tester. And I reckon every home with kids should have one. It tests a wide range of batteries, and that's one of the reasons why I've got it. Because there's so many times when I've found a battery and I don't know if it's working or not, or the actual thing that I'm putting the battery in is not working. It could be a tool, it could be a toy, and uh, you don't know if the toy's broken or the battery's dead. So in most cases, you think that the battery's dead. So you throw out the old battery and you put in the new battery and you find out that the unit has actually got the problem, not the battery. So with this little gadget here, you'll be able to test all your batteries and know for sure if the batteries are working or not. So let's dive down and take a closer look and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so the universal battery. Look how small it is, it's tiny. Let's open it. Got your little manual. And here's the device itself. I don't know if I mentioned this, but no batteries. So it uses the power from the actual batteries themselves. As you can see, it does the D cells, the C cells, the AA cells, the AAA cells, the ends and button cells, and also you have for the nine volts, square batteries. So let's test the nine volt to start off with. You can see here it's got positive and negative. So minus and plus, and you have your batteries here, which is your minus and your plus. Just line it up. It's good to have it flush on the table. The thing with this battery is I found it in one of my tools and I haven't used that tool for about two years. So I don't know if there's any charge in it. So this is perfect for this. Now this is, I haven't tested this battery out before. So what you see is what I see straight off the bat. Nothing at all. All right, so we'll leave that there and we'll get another nine volt, positive on the left. And there you go. So this one's almost full and this one's uh, a dud. Now I've got these two AAA batteries, so we'll test these out too. So the AAA batteries is from here to here. Positive upwards, negative downwards. And that's full. Let's test this one. And again, it's full. And again, doesn't use the battery. It uses the power from the batteries that you're testing. I've been using this torch here for a while. I've got a review on this. It's a fantastic little torch. It's been with me every single day and I've used it nearly every single day since I bought it. All right, so let's unplug this one. So here's how the torch works. Uh, let's unplug it. Positive, negative. And look at that. It's really, really good. After all that time of use, still got heaps of power. Works like a charm. So I've got two AA batteries, or two pairs of AA's, and these were sitting on the bottom of my drawer. So I don't know which ones are good and which ones are bad. So let's test them out. So the AA is from here to here. Perfect, full. This one, full. This one, full. Wow. This one, full. So as you can see, it works really well. Now, the uh, I don't have any D cells, and I don't have any C cells, and I don't have the N cells either. It does all those as well, but I don't have any of them. And you have these little graphs here, so the left side is for your nine volts for these batteries. And for the right side, it's the 1.5 volt batteries, which are all these. These are the indications, which you've got the green, yellow, and red. So the red, throw them away. Yellow is uh, getting ready to throw, <laughs> getting to that stage. And green is, they're good. They're good to go. So this was the only dud battery. Let's test it again. Yeah, no, nothing in that one. So I think it's awesome. It's got a nice LCD display for clear voltage reading. Just pop in the batteries and it shows if it's good, weak or poor. How simple is that? I really like it. And I reckon that everyone should have one of these. They're cheap enough to buy, so no excuses. So the pros of this is it's light, 
compact and you can take it anywhere. And again, it works with no batteries. It works with any battery type, like the normal domestic batteries that you would use at home. And it's really easy to use. Just insert and check. The cons with this is not for rechargeable batteries. It's lightweight, so it's plastic. So make sure you handle it with care. Overall, the tester is simple, useful, and accurate. It helps you avoid waste and it saves time. So if you're still here, you found this useful, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Links for this will be in the description and thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one real soon. Woohoo!